Okay. So, my boy and I here, we're going to do the one chip challenge. He's filming over here. I'm filming over here. Here we go. <laughs> we're going to do the one chip challenge. I don't have a tripod because I'm a dum dum, but um, uh, you want to hold this for me? Can you do both while I open them up so you can see that I'm removing the ceiling of these right now? Here's the first one. Here's the second coffin of doom right here. Very cool uh, boxes on. Yeah, gotta love the boxes on. I, I always thought this was really cool. Um, yeah, I first did one of these solo back in 20... Late... No, Thanksgiving was a, a week before Thanksgiving in 2018. My sister Double Dog dared me to do it after drinking five really, really strong beers. I was loaded. I hadn't had lunch. Basically ate this crap on an empty stomach. And I was surprised at how hot it was at the same time was expecting it to be much much hotter so here's the chips one for my boy here one for me um i have to open these tear them up more the teeth i guess <coughs> okay damn it i have to invest in a in a um grab one and invest in tripods here okay it has got a little easy open thing here like this just open it can we like proper phones up? That'd make a little bit more sense. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, huh? Let's see. Oh my gosh, you use my beer can. Here we go. Got like. <laughs> Let's see if this will work. We have to edit this video down because it's just way too damn long. Okay, we're gonna have to get down here then. So okay, this will work. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me get this glass right here. This water glass, a glass of water here. Splendid, fantastic, cracking there, cracking there, lad. All right, so here we go. Move the table back just a bit here. You see the ugly couch cushions. All right, so this is gonna be like, um, uh, it's gonna be hot. Oh my God, hot. Hot. It's in the way. Hold on. Make sure we get this whole thing here going on. Bunch of crap in the foreground when you need. Okay, so we're on. Uh, there we go. All right. Three, two, one, tear this bad boy open. Are you ready, I see? Going to miss you. Ah, oh, mine's broken, dude. Give me that piece. Okay, here we go. Oh. Mm. What is? Put it up, man. What are you doing? I just want to, you know, give it a small look. Dude, what are you waiting for? I got it, I got it, I got it. It's holding your mouth, don't waste any bites. Just this so you need this. Mm. Like I said, I mean, it's hot, but when I did it back in 2018, I was expecting it to be a little hotter. I was, I was sort of disappointed, but at the same time, I was like, it's properly hot, you know? So, not a bad deal. Does this pitch black? Or yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty hot, huh? Hiccups, yeah, immediate hiccups. As long as you hold it down, don't puke, you're fine. I've been eating raw habaneros for like... 25 years, maybe 30. Um, <clears throat> I'm an old man, by the way. <clears throat> but then I started eating um, fresh ghost chili peppers. I mean, Whole Foods used to carry them. There's this some greenhouse in Amsterdam that, I oh, believe it or not, Amsterdam. They grow these ghost chili peppers. And I used to buy them when they had them. They were like, oh, awesome. People look at me, why are you crazy? Why are you going to eat those? They're so hot. I'm like, I love the hot chili peppers, man. <clears throat> <clears throat> You'll be alright, dude. You're a good sport, dude. Anyway, I eat uh, <clears throat> hot chili peppers every day. I've got my own custom blend of dried chilies I use, which is smoked ghost chili peppers with habaneros and Carolina Reapers. And it's granulated and ground up and ready to go. <clears throat> Excuse me. And stick on anything. It's pretty good. I 
Yeah, this is, uh, by the way, shot on iPhone 12 mini. At least mine is. <clears throat> what model is yours? It's another one, right? So, or it's just fun. You need water? Just take little sips, dude. Just little sips. <clears throat> little sips. It's okay. That chisels for rizzle and the hizzle, my nizzle. Little sips, not a whole bunch, not too many. Yeah, it's properly hot, man. <clears throat> I'll get a few minutes before I uh, give in. By the way, <clears throat> I'm drinking this awesome McKellar Brewing Windy Hill. It's a really nice New England style hazy IPA. Goes great with hot, spicy food. I guess I'm going to hold not put it, I'm using it to hold the phone up with because I don't have a tripod. So my nose is hella running. My uh, mustache region here is sweating profusely. <clears throat> if you regulate your breathing through your mouth like this, that hurts though, exhaling. Well, it's, I don't think it's like wasabi where if you exhale out your nose, like you just like start coughing and hacking your brains up. It's very hot. <clears throat> if anything, we're for sure sending this video to your sister because she's the one who bought these for us. You mean your sister? I see. Hi, sorry, your auntie. Sorry, man. That's what happens you get old, dude. You need some tissue? Yeah. Thanks, man. <clears throat> He's getting some tissue. So you can alleviate this sinusoidal issue. <clears throat> oh, man. So the 7 minute, 22 second mark from starting this video. This is on my screen. Uh, actually, I'll just use this. I got it, don't worry. <laughs> Make sure I don't get any chilies in my eyeballs. That's the worst is when you get the chilies in your eyes. <sighs> by the way, this video is brought to you by Glorious Beer for Warmth. <sighs> Show them your shirt. KGB. Yep. I try not to drink too much at once. <clears throat> okay, That's time fun. code is at 8 minutes, 17 seconds. <clears throat> <clears throat> Do you regret having done this? Let's go. Don't regret anything. Okay, good. Me either. Actually, this one is definitely hotter. <clears throat> and the one I did in 2018. <clears throat> Let's do a little reading here. Ooh. A little literature. What to expect? Well, yeah, I mean, because I've done this before. Do you remember when we ate the uh, haunted ghost pepper chips? Yeah, we ate the, you, me, and your brother ate the whole bag. That was back in 2018, also, I think. <clears throat> Taylor Reaper, Scorpion, and Sichuan Peppercorns. <clears throat> Sichuan Peppercorns is not really hot, though. Mm. It's kind of an aromatic, kind of weird sensation. So I put them in my, <clears throat> my Asian style stir fry. How long can you last before throwing the towel? Eating or drinking anything? Oh, you weren't supposed to drink water. Get a couple oh. sips, dude. Sorry. That's nah, whatever. So we're almost at, well, almost at 10 <clears> minutes, <throat> but. Hey, man. Oh, cool. You get a free bag? No way. Cool. It's got a coupon in here. <clears throat> For one. When does it expire? Uh, dude, this is California. Those, um, cool. It's got a little bag. You can go. 
Yeah. Um, the state of California coupons don't expire, apparently. And that's, I don't know if that law still does. <coughs> Yucky. Hmm. Yeah. That was several years ago, but yeah. You know, we got all sorts of weird laws here in California. Like now you could be some thief and rip people's stuff off and you don't really go to jail. They kind of let you back out in the street again. They do criminalized theft, unfortunately, it seems like. <clears throat> it's hard to tell, but I got sort of tear ducts are kind of welling up here. Wow. Looks like we started exactly the same time. That's cool. You're like a fraction of a head, a fraction of a second ahead of me. Yeah. So now we're at 11 minutes. So I get the the lightweight rating here because I did 10 minutes. Well, that mean I get like featherweight, or at least almost. Yeah, but then I mean, how old are you? 16. You're 16. See, I'm 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 50 and a half. So. And I've been eating hot chili peppers since I was. Well, my mom turned me on to Tabasco sauce when I was nine. She used to get pissed, dude, because <clears throat> I'd like, I'd like only leave like a little bit in the bottle because I'd just dump it on my food. Yes. She's like, you have to get a job so you're, you're eating all the hot sauce. Get a job so you can buy your own, right? And then at age 15 or 16, my after school job, um, I discovered El Yucateco's um, hot sauce. And I would go through a couple bottles a month of that stuff. And then from there, it was all downhill. And then in 1990. Six, I discovered the Dave's Insanity Sauce Limited Edition that comes in the coffin. And I fell in love with that. And I was like, oh my God, because there's amazing flavor, amazing heat. Every year they did a different um, formulation of it. But the one back when I, around the time, I met, shortly after I met your mom, we bought, um, it was a place down in Gilroy, um, the Garlic Shop is what it's called. They had, because I was cruising around looking at their website and they had like, they had it for sale there. And my, I call up like, how many boxes of this stuff do you have? Like, oh, we got 22. I said, I'll buy all of them. How much? He's like, it was like 400 bucks for all 22 bottles, right? And that's in that little coffins and everything. <clears throat> Each hand numbered and signed by Dave himself. And then uh, I still have one actually in my mini fridge. Um, it's always been refrigerated, still still sealed <clears throat> from the 2002. And I'm wondering what that's worth online to a collector like on eBay or something. But uh, yeah. Wow. Right now I'm like feeling my lips. Mm -hmm. Oh, when you get on the outside of your mouth, you're screwed, dude. Try to keep it all inside because you had some in the corner of your mouth earlier. Yeah. I'm, really, a... I'm not really feeling it there, though. That's the thing. It's like. I mean, it's like I rubbed my face here earlier, so I'm feeling this really, really warm spot. Like, ah. But yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it warm inside my stomach, but not as. So I've been doing this for so many years, I'm so used to that. I remember people just tell me, ah, you gotta get hot, but if you keep all those hot chili peppers, you're gonna get hot, but you're gonna give yourself ulcers. Like, <sighs> you've been wrong for decades, right? <sighs> but, um. I was feeling like, <clears throat> through my mouth, it's like pulsing almost. Oh, yeah, mine too, man. And, um, the sides and backs of my tongue. Um, yeah. so. Just for reference, yeah, I've got so I've, I've got the ghost chili pepper plant and I've got the Carolina Reaper chili plant outside. Um, you remember, I tried to remember back in the old apartment, I was trying to grow them indoor with that grow lamp. Yeah. The problem was, <clears throat> I had those other plants in there and they were dying because it was too hot for them, so I put them all outside. So, those things I planted, gosh, in May of last year, I think. Um, they're still going, they're regenerating now because, like, right now in California, <clears throat> it's like springtime weather. Where's the else in the nation? Oh, this is um, 24th of February, 2021, by the way, when we filmed this. Um, but, uh... What peppers are in this, by the way? Huh? What peppers are in this? Um, got the ingredients right here, actually. Um, somewhere. Oh, I'll have to make the, uh, ingredient stamps. It's, this is the worst legibility, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. I studied graphic design in school... Black on red or red on black is the crappiest legibility. I don't know what they're thinking. Oh, hey, let's give these people with bad eyes. Let's give this 50-year-old guy who's going to try to read this. Damn, Carolina I need glasses. Reaper, scorpion chili. Of course, charcoal powder. That's why it's so black. Right. What do you need charcoal powder for? Chipotle pepper powder. 
Chipotles aren't hot though, but they've got good flavor. It's a torn pepper. Extract. You know, chipotles are just like jalapenos have been roasted, right? Fire roasted. I have this person like, oh, can I get some chipotles? Sure, you can have some roasted jalapenos. There you go. <clears throat> I wasn't really feeling it before, but now I'm really feeling it, you know, really hot in my. I'm feeling it down here, but I've been feeling it down here since like a minute after I ingested it, but it's not too bad. You know, fortunately, we had all that homemade sushi earlier. Oh, that was some fun stuff, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm glad you like that. I'm glad you appreciate it. Yeah, good, it good taste, kid. So I'm past the lightweight. Do I really have to? Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I've got 128 gigabytes in this, this, uh, this um, November 2020 model iPhone 12 mini, which, by the way, is pretty damn amazing. <clears throat> Low light mode is pretty awesome, by the way. Um, I hate to give plugs for these guys, but I've been using Apple products like a rabid foaming mouth fanboy since 1984, and I don't mind giving them a free shameless plug. I've only used Windows computers by choice a few times, and I've been burned every single time some crap came up. I've only been in the... Wow, has it been that long? Wow, since 1984. Anyways, throughout that time frame from 1984 to... <laughs> Excuse me, the present. I've only had two issues with a Mac, with an Apple-related system. One was a, a refurb that had a recall on the graphics card. as a 2011 27-inch um, iMac, which um, I had them replace the motherboard and the graphics card and everything. And then I immediately sold it on eBay. And then I had, um, gosh, what, what model Mac was that? It was a... Uh, Oh, it was the mirror drive door. It kept going through power supplies left and right. But it was a 2001 or 2002 mirror drive door G4. But anyway, so why am I going off on this? I know why. Because when you're suffering, sometimes you talk about random stuff, my friend. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So I showed my friend um, Trang the pictures of the sushi we made earlier, and she was like, so jealous. She's like, oh, we got to get together and collaborate on dinner sometime. I'm like, hell yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. She's pretty awesome. She's she's the one I'm building the um the hardtail mountain bike up for. They're gonna teach mountain bike skills training with. By the way, that's what I do. Um, <clears throat> so I'm glad you like your new bike. I just wish I lived closer to the trails. <clears throat> I'd love to to have you go test it out and just like throw it through some chunk and stuff, try it out, um, just to see your enjoyment of it. Because definitely with 130 mils of travel in the front nose opposed to 100. And look how slack that head tube angle is, dude. That's like a 66 and a half degree head angle. Now, the one on your bike with that 100 millimeter travel fork was like about a 71 maybe degree head angle. So it's like super slack. I'm sure you notice like you're riding, it's like, it's kind of noodly, but it's got a longer wheelbase on it. You can, it's like a monster truck. It's almost as cool as my hardtail um, fat bike that I raced in Downeyville back in 2019 and got 15th out of 89 people in Cat 1. Anyways, <clears throat> yeah, so this is not the least, um, I, actually, this is, actually, this is probably the hottest thing I've had. Definitely probably, like, the most pain-inducing. Scovilles, I don't remember what they even said. It's probably, like, it's got to be over a million Scovilles. The thing yeah, is, of some of the raw peppers can actually be more than that. So I remember um, reading somewhere that the Carolina Reapers can be two million mm. themselves. There's a Trinidad scorpion, there's a Maruga scorpion, there's Calorana Reaper. I'm going to look it up. Um, yeah. There you go with the black and red text again. Ah, ah, I need glasses. I need glasses because my eyesight is going. 1.5 so. million. 1.5. Specifically, 1,569,300. <laughs> they measure it down to the, like, the, the wow. Hundreds. So this is the happens. this is apparently the 2020 version here. Yeah, so that's and these are sucks. apparently sold out online too. So thank you, big sister. I think it's different school level per year because this. Oh, one, definitely. Because I looked up only like just the general term uh, school level for a low blow of the gut. <sighs> yeah, you feeling that? I'm doing it too. Yeah. So a spicy punch to the tongue. Yeah, my tongue's like it's mellowed out now, but the rest of my face is still warm because so. and I, I got i touch myself in the face right here but the worst is when you get in your eyeballs ladies and gentlemen i'll tell you and the only thing that's going to alleviate it <laughs> is squirt 
freaking lemon juice in there, I freaking swear to God. Um, and there are two things that are the best for you when hot chili pepper affects you and you're like, you just want to throw in the towel, you want to get the heat over with immediately. Whole, whole milk. Don't jump to the... I gotta have low fat. No, if it was supposed to be low fat, it would come from the cow that way. Um, Isn't low fat milk like watered down milk? It is basically, you're paying for them to water down your milk if you buy low fat, so don't do it. Sorry, I'm pointing at two different devices here. Um, but then there's also good old glorious, glorious beer here. Um, New England style hazy IPAs, by the way. I can't say enough about them. They're like one of the best beers for this whole thing. Um, yeah, it's pretty rad. Um, but then the worst thing, the worst thing you can do, believe it or not, diet sodas. There's something about that fake sugar crap. Was it aspartame or whatever? It gets with the carbonation and in, in the, the hot chili almost creates like a chlorine gas effect. Like, it just... Uh, I don't. I haven't had soft drinks in over twenty years, but <clears throat> I, I prefer beer because it's just so much better, and it's actually got good sunshiny vitamin D in it too. We gotta try all these sometime because we had we had two hottest chips. Of course, there's a bunch. Of well, she bought me all these ones. The um, yeah, even the the chili lime lime ones are pretty good. The um, yeah. the haunted ghost chili ones are good. The um. One we have. The nacho cheese, just like, yeah. The salsa is all right. The jalapeno truffle is like, yeah. But I got to say, the um the fiery chili lemon are really delicious. But the haunted ghost peppers, those are the best ones. Wait, what was your opinion on the jalapeno ones? Jalapeno? What jalapeno? Oh, these ones? Yeah. They're like, eh. When people are like, oh, well, let's put pineapple and make it better. It's like, <laughs> no, dude. Are you making me a freaking, are you making me like um, a pineapple daiquiri or something? That's fine. Load up full pineapple. Um, are you making me pizza? For the love of the heathen gods, for Christ's sakes, people, don't freaking put pineapple on your pizza. What the hell's wrong with you, man? Seriously? Why don't you just eat a McDonald's instead? You're an abomination. Um, <laughs> but, uh, your pineapple, actually, if you're going to make some kind of salsa sometimes, you can put little bits of, um, little bits in there. But what you do is you take the, the pineapple, you slice it into, like, slices, and you throw it down in your grill over mesquite, um, charcoal or, and hardwood and you just grill it to get nice brown grill marks in it and it adds a really, really nice punch to it also it's kind of, kind of like a little saltiness there i'm a foodie so you know um yeah that's really nice but um it, it can be nice used sparingly but like making pineapple one of the flavor the key flavor components like ah no 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 i've had some good pineapple sponge cake before you know it's ironic when i was in um oahu for two weeks um uh, that was uh, December, last two weeks of December, first couple of days of January this year, um, during COVID, by the way. Traveling was fun and getting the test was fun. Um, God, we had like only one thing that had pineapple on it the whole time, like here in, Har in Hawaii. Like we had lots of um, Spam Masubi. Oh my God, I love Spam Masubi. It's proper comfort food. I want to try that sometime. We'll have to go to Hawaii and barbecue sometime because they pretty much, you know, if it's, if the people behind the counter are like, you know, morbidly obese and they look like Pacific Islander, they know how to make it. Seriously. Don't let some skinny person tell you, oh, here's your spam of soups. No, I don't trust you, man. Because Hawaiian food, I tell you, it's, it's really comfort food. It's really, it's just like, ah, there's all this humidity. I just want to sit and eat and eat and eat. Although when we were there, I, I told you we went to um, Honolulu and we found that dim sum place. That was really good. It was it was helpful that my friend speaks Chinese. She's she's fluent in Chinese because she's from China. She's from Hong Kong. <clears throat> but uh yeah the uh the the sushi was okay. I would say it was all right. Oh yeah um, by the way free Hong Kong. Huh? Free Hong Kong. Free Hong Kong, yeah. You seen the documentary on the the People's Day was it called International People's Day or what yeah. it is? Oh it's freaking farce dude. Yeah that documentary was was rather kind of it was sad watching it. It's like it's a problem with communist governments and stuff because it's all propaganda. It's like, oh, we take care of our people and blah, 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 blah. But the thing is, it's just like when you when you have a a, a, a <clears throat> national holiday that pretty much, you know, uh, I'm getting political. Never mind. This probably won't be able to be viewed in like, we're like, it'll get. Just don't over upload it to Yuku, by the way, because yeah. I work in the biz for, we can't tell them where I work for. <clears throat> It's a pretty big company, but um, I handle all their worldwide global channels, for every single one of their global channels that represent 23 different geos. Um, and China is one of them. They have Yuku over there because apparently YouTube's not proper for them, whatever. But anyway, so 
Yeah, everyone else is cool. Um, United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Italy, Turkey, Spain, Korea, Japan, um, Australia, Canada, Canada French. What did it say? Italy, Germany, France, Spain. There's, also there's Colombia. There's yeah, Turkey is one of them too. Colombia, Chile, Russia. Mexico. Um, of course, Russia. Of course, my friend, no, Bratan, and um, Brazil. <clears throat> Uh, am I forgetting any of the channels? Oh, yeah, India. Can't forget India. Don't want to piss those guys off. They're like, um, the, the company that I do YouTube stuff for, they're the, um, they're, they're, their, their channel produces the most hits. And then third is like Russia. So it goes the U.S., India, and then Russia. Oh, yeah, we have S sure. Singapore and Thailand also. Can't forget my peeps over there. It's funny. I got to work with all those people. They're well, such great smell. people. Smells like something burning. It that's does kind of. That's not good. Like electronic smell, huh? Yeah. Definitely not from over here, that's for Hold sure. Hold on. I gotta bring my phone with me to make sure I wasn't drinking water. <laughs> Is it the computer maybe in here? Yeah. Yeah, it's this computer, unfortunately. I don't know. It keeps shutting. It keeps shutting down one of the GPUs in it, man. I got it running twenty-four hours a day. Yeah, it keeps shutting down one of its GPUs. I don't know why it's making that. Stinky smell though now. I gotta shut it down and power it up again. Shut down. <laughs> okay. Good nose. Yeah. No, it's coming from over here. Oh, great. What is this? Something's not happy. Is it my computer or the other one? I can't tell. Maybe you should like it. You're all unplug it with my computer. Yeah, shut it down. <clears throat> See the smoke? That's not good. Seriously, man. Like, can't have electrical smells, dude. Yeah. <sighs> yep, computers will give you problems, man. So I've almost reached the... Um, Wait a minute. Yeah, the middle weight. Seriously, I gotta record an hour? Can I even upload like an hour long video on YouTube? I don't even know, man. Oh, yeah, you can. <clears throat> you can? Oh, I should know this. <laughs> no, because I don't have like a paying subscription. I don't have a paying account. Well, I mean, you can still do it anymore. Really? <clears throat> not this one. No, it's definitely, I think it's definitely years making that smell. Unless something's coming from outside. It's coming from this one? I didn't smell it very much from over here. Well, if you put your face down there, you totally smell it strong. Okay, flip the power switch off. Yeah. Now unplug everything and pull up your face and just like take a big old hefty whiff and go. Woo, smells like burning electronics. Call the fire marshal immediately. Well, the fire sensation, I still feel a little tiny bit in my stomach, but the, the really fiery sensation in my mouth is pretty much gone, but I can feel it all around my face, though. All around my face is just still on fire. I don't know about this. I don't really smell it. Fuck, it might be that other one. <laughs> That's not good. <clears throat> I'm glad we got this uh, 16 gigabyte. Yeah, here, remote. put it aside because I need to get over here and check things out. Because if it's this other one, we got problems, man. Where did I put the keyboard and mouse? Did I unplug everything? <clears throat> Where did I put the keyboard and mouse for this thing? Oh, there it is. <laughs> <clears throat> now, this is fun. I'm trying to diagnose and troubleshoot a computer that's making 
farty electronic smells it shouldn't be mm -hmm. yep okay um it's fun okay um just plug it in for the first I could have gone longer. It was just a temptation. I could do it. Just no worries, dude. I mean, you you try. We'll do it again some other time, right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's burning electronic smell. It's like electronics that aren't very happy electronics. Yeah. And this thing is running like all the time, so. Yeah, it's running 24 hours a day. I'm doing the distributed.net RC5 challenge for my team. The thing was like right. before when I was hiccuping, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like hiccup or barf. Well, that's good, dude. I'm so glad he didn't barf, man. Seriously, dude. You don't understand how happy I am that you you held it down like a champ. I think that's part of the reason why I want to drink water. Held it down like a boss. <clears throat> well, sometimes adding contents in your stomach is not a good thing. It's the opposite of what you want to do. That's why I told you I just said take little tiny sips if you're gonna take sips at all. Yeah. Uh, let's see. And hello to the friends I'm saying this to. <clears throat> probably Arsher, Jason, Brian, Alex, Jake if he sees it, uh, Christian, and. I made it to 30 uh, minutes. 30 minutes, I'm a lightweight. Or if he's selling it. Uh, and of course, we're opening this to YouTube and the website, right? Yeah, that's the idea. Do you have a YouTube channel? Of course I do. I tell you about it all the time. I know. I'm just <laughs> helping you try to promote yourself. So, <clears throat> so hello to my... Actually, I don't think I should post it there. It's funny. I've got one, but I really don't post much to it because I do YouTube stuff for a living for another company. So um, a global company, that's a pretty awesome place. I don't show my face on my YouTube. Really? All I have is my voice and that's it. Okay, well, you can always pixelate your face or something or put the put the the um the, the dogie on there oh yeah yeah I doji doji something like that okay doji. i'm gonna doge sorry i'm gonna power this thing down what the hell's the power supply it's in the bottom oh it's on the top <laughs> yeah i definitely got some burning smell from that thing that sucks wonder where well the thing is here's the deal dude is this motherboard over here from your brother's computer because he came over you know a week and a half ago yep. And I upgraded him so he's running, um, you know, High Sierra on it because he was only running, um, was um, the one before, um, it was El Capitan, that's right. And so I took all his guts from his computer, took them out of the case, and I put the, the guts from my computer in there. So he's got those. And then his old motherboard, I put it in the other case, powered it up, and it made this weird burning smell. Like, what the hell? This is the problem is when you build Hackintoshes because it's cheap piece of shit, hard, piece of crap hardware. It's really not as well built as Mac OS systems. I mean, I have never had any problems with this 2008 Mac Pro Tower or this late 2012 Mac Pro Tower, but I've had problems with like eight or nine different Hackintoshes, and I've built like 14 of them in my time. So it's just, it's not a good return on investment when you keep having to replace stuff when it breaks, right? This is not going to report what comes out the other end. Hmm? This is not going to report what comes out the other end. It's not that bad, dude. I've, I've done worse. Yeah. yeah. Worse than yeah, because it's only one chip. Now, if you eat, like, like an entire bowl of sauce that had, like, ghost chilies, yeah, you're going to be pooping fireballs, dude. Trust me. Let's start it up again already. So this one's not smelling like smoke. That's good. Okay. Alright, you can set yours up again. Alright. 
me move this crap hole out of the way. Seriously, I was like just so suffering from like the, the heat in my sinus. I'm like, I didn't even smell it. I normally have a really, really a very acute. Dude, there's still dust bunnies popping out of your computer. Remember we took it outside with the compressor and blew the air out of it? Yeah, and blew, a lot of dust. blew out the dust out of it? I mean, I sit right under an air vent, so probably one. That's why mom keeps telling me to go to dust my area. Oh, yeah, definitely. And vacuum regularly, dude. Let's see what time is it. It's 10.23 Pacific time. We're only 35 minutes into this whole thing. You mean 22.33? Sir, yes, sir. 24 military time, sir. I didn't hear you, soldier boy. Sorry about that little electronics fire drill there, but this is life. So, uh... This is from our Japanese dinner tonight. Got the hangiri here, which you make rice with. I got my special $138 rice cooker here, made in Japan. This is the raddest rice cooker in the world. This makes rice so beautifully and perfectly every time. That was kind of random, but whatever. Oh, and by the way, this stuff rocks. So here's my selection of, pow of hot sauce right here. The Palo Alto Firefighters Ghost Chili Pepper Sauce. It's pretty good stuff. Got, of course, good old standby El Yucateco. And got the uh, Melinda's Naga Jolokaya Hot Sauce, Ghost Chili Pepper Sauce. And then I used to just buy these that smoke ghost chilies, but I finally, I do my own mixture. This one I bought, I'm sure it's a marketing thing. I'm not a supporter of the guy whose name almost rhymes with that, but it's very, very strong truffle smell. I wouldn't say it's the tastiest, but it's interesting. And then, what else do I have? One of the most delicious hot sauces in the world is the Marie Sharp's Belizean Heat. And then, this one, just the original, it's not too hot, but it's an amazing flavor. Melinda's, Melinda's and Marie Sharp's are probably the two best. <clears throat> but how I do my whole thing, my hot chili peppers and sauces and stuff, it's kind of fun because I buy them in bulk. So here we are. This is a a one pound bag of smoked ghost chili peppers. You can see whew, it's got it right by my nose. My God, I'm halfway done with this. It's taken me a year and a half. Why would you put it that close? Because I'm not thinking, man. You know what I'm saying? And then, of course, you got the uh, Carolina, Carol, Carolina Reaper Flakes. And then I buy these things in bulk. I use them a lot. And then, of course, <laughs> got to have good old habanero flakes. Good stuff. What else do I have? What's my other propaganda for hot chilies? Of course, you got the, the regular Chinese chili pepper flakes. And then Sichuan peppercorns. And then, what else do we have? We're kind of hot propaganda. Oh yeah, um, I got my special mix here, which is smoked ghost chilies with Carolina Reapers and habaneros. So you got a good balance of flavor and heat and smoke. And then <clears throat> I regularly put just regular habanero flakes on stuff. And these would be Szechuan peppercorns, which I use a lot of stuff, a lot of Asian cooking I do. And of course, can't have enough pepper, gotta have Green peppercorns, which are great. And then good old standby black peppercorns. And then, and then, here's a fun one here to show my true um, passion for hot chili. Uh, <clears throat> this is a... <laughs> 136 ounce or eight and a half pound container of Vietnamese style chili garlic sauce. <laughs> Look at that volume there, yeah. I use a lot of this stuff. Yeah, you could say I'm kind of a chili head just a little bit. I'm not looking for awards or brownie points. I'm just saying the idea is we're supposed to like 
make this video as authentic as possible, and I think I'm, I think I'm doing it right at this point. What else? Have? What other hot chili propaganda have I got? What do I got in the refrigerator right now? I think I got some fresh habaneros in the hip bottom here somewhere. Unless they're going bad and moldy. Yeah, a little bad and moldy, but they're still hot. There's habaneros. And then, of course, got a little bag of fresh serranos here. Fresh serranos are hotter than jalapenos, generally. And then, what else have we got here? What else have we got? It's really hot. Hot, hot stuff in here. Oh, yeah. Got the Vietnamese hot chili oil. This stuff's stronger than the Chinese hot chili oil. Very, very hot. And then, I got this fun stuff here, which isn't really truly hot. It's the umami topping. This stuff's awesome. And then, let's see. Um, oh. Gotta have this stuff, too. It's good stuff. Can't wait to drink some beer, man. My mouth is cooling down now. Uh, oh, I'm... Of course... Gotta have sriracha. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I've also got the uh, Satan's Blood, which is basically, it's it's a capsaicin extract. It tastes like crap, but one or two drops of these, my God, yeah, you're, you're on fire. Um, I've just got some basic, basic red chilies. You know, like the dried ones you put on pizza and stuff. <clears throat> and I think, oh, I've got my own special chili mix that I make. It's a lot of pasilla chili peppers, California chilies, New Mexico chilies. Um, there's ground cumin in there too. And then this stuff's a standby for a lot of stuff too. It's mild, but it's got a really nice rich flavor. I love the rich flavor like New Mexico chilies and pasilla chilies by the way. And that's that's all the hot chilies I have. Oh yeah, Japanese shichimi togarashi, <clears throat> umami rush. Uh, oh yeah, and bourbon smoked togarashi. And good dry rub for doing like barbecue and stuff and using the slow smoker so back over with the boy here i think i've pretty much covered all of my hot chili stuff now i pretty much showed the whole collection <clears throat> including the the 100 and whatever the eight and a half pound jug of the chili paste yeah lots of chili paste yeah that thing is just like man you can like you could you could stop a would-be assailant dead in their tracks with that thing, just throw it at them. Even if it doesn't explode on them, but... 17 minutes to go to reach the hour point, man. Really gonna go to an hour? Me as well. I can go, I'll go like a minute and a half over, because I started the video, like, as we are tearing it open, and so probably about a minute or a minute and a half in, so may as right. well do it right, but <clears throat> in terms of how I'm gonna edit this, to make sure, because, you know, you can, I've seen people fast-forward stuff, and you can tell they edited it, too got to be able to fast forward it without like having it look like it's edited so i'll do probably upload the uncut video which is gonna be god gonna be boring although the youtube algorithm states that organic content that's going to keep you watching your videos keeping you riveted for like you know more than six minutes anywhere from six minutes to sky's limit is like yeah how many subscribers do you have on your personal YouTube <clears throat> channel probably two i think <laughs> one of them was like you or your brother <clears throat> this is like years ago I remember we used to take videos of you guys riding at um santa Teresa county park yeah on your bikes and stuff and like on the on the, the uh, bunny and horsey trails i got some videos of of me and an old teammate of mine marco riding our bikes um up and down style ranch doing some some time trial runs and stuff but um yeah yeah, it's a 2020 edition, but here's it's, it's 2021 right now. Well, yeah, except for the fact that I still have a problem. Now, on a computer screen, red and black works fine. Mm -hmm. There's additive versus subtractive color space models. This basically, this is additive color. Or, um, <clears throat> sorry, subtractive color. Yeah, subtractive color. You add colors on. 
ah, it's been a bunch of years. I'm probably getting it wrong. But anyways, so this is cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And the worst legibility for printed things, <clears throat> because it's not light. It's basically how the light is appearing on something that's not projecting its own light. But this is the worst legibility, red on black or black on red. By the way, learn something new every day. So yeah, this is uh, this is interesting. Oh yeah, we still have these old. Oh, there's got a couple little tiny, little tiny like crumbs in here. Here we go. There's a couple more crumbs in here. Taste isn't the best. There's, no, it's not the best. Because generally, when you make something, that's why they added the um the chipotle. I'm trying to add some flavor. There's a little piece. Of, there's a couple, just a couple <clears> little flakes in there. But again, they weren't going for taste. No, they're going to be like the hottest. You got some flakes in here too. Pretty sure this is the hottest chip in the world, so. Yep. Pretty sure, so. One and done. Did it with my bro. <coughs> Bang. I'm sure this will probably keep us from ever getting COVID. Because oh. right now, there's still, there's a vaccine, but, you know. Yeah, I took a COVID test, <clears throat> was it three days before I went to Hawaii, um, back in December. And it was this fun thing because they uh, they express ship me this um, <clears throat> this postage page thing that you return to them. But what you do, you have to have like a webcam or you use a cell phone. And basically, you basically have to open the sealed package on, you know, over the internet with like a certified medical professional on the other end. Um, and they have you open the tube, they have you spit into it but like i for whatever reason i had dry mouth I was spit like, so it took me about a minute to get enough spit i don't know why my my spit was so dry that day oh that's right because they tell you not to like eat or drink beforehand um <clears throat> anyway so did that and you you put the cap on there and you shake it up and it releases this little chemical agent in there and you pour this little liquid in there that's right and then and then you seal it up you put it you put the piece of tape over it you put it in the package and you seal it up and then um yeah, it's this whole system where you have like this. Well, basically, you, you you get these QR codes and you get these, you, this physical printout and you have to have something on your smartphone. So, by the way, you can't travel unless you have a smartphone. Whatever, I guess it's the 21st century, you just gotta like embrace it. But everybody anyway. Everybody's got a smartphone these days. Well, practically everybody. But, um, <clears throat> at least first four minutes. <clears throat> but then we, uh, we got our results back um, like a day and a half before. We were going to leave for Hawaii, which is great. And then you go through the airport in Hawaii and um, you have to have these physical evidence. You have to have the printouts with you. You also have to have the, the email, worst case. We also have to have like a QR code that's on the email that they scan to let you. And you have to show it in two different places in the airport for them to let you in to show that you do, didn't bring the evil COVID, COVID cooties with you. Um, but that was interesting. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, mountain bikes. Yeah, I've got a few of them. A few, quote-unquote. A couple. Here's my single-speed bike here that I got on the podium of the 2019 Old Growth Classic in Big Basin. Unfortunately, the wildfires last year decimated Big Basin, so there's probably not going to be... Well, there was no race last year, obviously, because of COVID, too, but there's probably not going to be a race there for a while. And then... Uh, for the editing, we'll have both their screens available, right? Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. But then I've got all this, these also all these other fun bikes here. So I got this one, which I'm selling. I've got this one here, which used to be my boy's bike recently. Then I got the the Santa Cruz 26er single speed. This one I'm building up for a friend of mine. This is my fun bike. And then it's even more fun now because uh got a really special bike up here. Special white walls. It's a cruiser single speed. Built this one for my kid. It's a it's a 29 plus. It's pretty awesome. I got a gravel grinder and I got a, of course, the purple fat bike that I got 15th place out of what is it, 89 people or whatever in the Downeyville Classic back in 2019. It was fun. Anyways, so this is a fun little thing. So I got this novelty thing from my sister a couple weeks back. Haven't tried it out yet. But it looks like an upside down beer bottle. Interesting. Um, and by the way, if you can, if you use garlic in your foodie, buy the elephant garlic. Each one of these cloves is gigantic, by the way. I wear size extra, extra large gloves because I am a mountain biker. So, to give you an idea of how big this clove is, 
appeared in my hand. This bulb, excuse me. Um, yeah, it's garlic cloves and onion. Oh. Well, garlic bulb. And then I use a lot of shallots in my cooking. I do a lot of Vietnamese cooking. And then gotta have tons and tons of red onions. I make my own food. Lemons and limes, cause, because California, I guess you could say. Wait, garlic cloves make up garlic bulbs, right? Yeah, a bulb is comprised of garlic cloves. You got it. Yeah, using the correct terminology, man. So it's definitely not yours. It's definitely this other one over here. So maybe the... Maybe it's, it's, yeah, man, it's frustrating. I built up some of these damn things. They just keep failing. Uh, can't wait to drink that beer. Just had an, a, a fun, fun, awesome wheel build built up. It's got a, it's hard. I got the lighting in the wrong direction. Here we go. It's a head wheel. It's a 650B, like a pan eraser. Gravel King SK in beautiful orange. It's awesome. GT Swiss 350 hub. It's from one of my gravel grinder bikes. Oh, and then these are awesome too. What are those? These are hella hot. It's a takeout. It's they have takeout and they have pig out. It's basically it's like complete nutrition version. Wait, what Here. is this? Oh, put this down in. Pig out. Yeah, your brother and I were, were snacking on when he was here a couple weeks ago. I remember seeing pig out, but I've never seen this. Yeah, this is the other one. It's, it's, apparently it's got complete balanced nutrition. The claim is it's like... It's, it's, oh, all what is the, it supposed to mimic? Um, Food that kind of tastes like chips or like corn puffs or something. So like Cheetos? But without the cheesy flavor. The thing is that, that fake cheese flavor, I don't like Cheetos because it just tastes kind of fake, but... Whatever, you know, teach their own. Big, it's not fried, interesting. Yeah, they're pretty good though. Sometime. Yeah, we'll probably track them up tomorrow or something, I don't know. Good. That's another fun little thing though. But, uh, yeah, this wheel build turned out pretty good, man. It's super heavy though, I missed the carbon rim, but I'll go with this. This is still tubeless. It's fatter, so it's gonna get a little bit more girth and I can run lower pressure in it. I don't worry about about it burping or anything this tire is pretty well well huh well worn wouldn't you say <laughs> yeah almost completely <clears throat> missing a tread in the middle well um <clears throat> i've done two thousand miles on it i think since i built that bike up in mid 2019 <clears throat> but i had this wheel set this wheel set on the orange bike um when i did the 111.88 mile ride up and over Mount Hamilton, out through Livermore, 30 miles an hour, solid headwinds from the bottom of, um, was it San Andreas Valley Road? No, what is that called? San Antonio Valley Road San to Livermore. 30, 30 miles of constant 20 mile an hour headwinds. I had to fight the whole way. I was just like so wrecked when I got to Livermore. And then I took the hard way on the way back instead of taking um, um, 84, because Niles Canyon is like scary. There's like a shoulder that's about a couple millimeters wide. But so I went up and over Calaveras, ended up being 9,032 feet of climbing. Yeah. It was a good day. It was pretty damn cold that day, too. But my uh, my friend, uh, the girl I'm building a mountain bike up for, she wants to do that ride with me sometime. She's a beast. But yeah, we went out to Pescadero and back. Did went 100 and something miles that day together. We did that back in June of last year. That's when I first started riding with her. And then um, <clears throat> we did another one. Uh, that's right, we did down through, we did up nine, down through Boulder Creek, back up 236 to nine or whatever. Would you have done um, this challenge with the show, huh? Um, yeah, I would have. And then we went up back. Can you even handle that? Yeah, I'm sure you can. <sighs> we back up Highway 35 all the way to Highway 84, took that down, and then took that out to, um, through Los Altos, and then we ended up going up and over um, Mount Eden Road, I think, and then back. That was that was 8,000 something feet of climbing, but anyways. But one of the biggest rides I've done on the single speed, 20% battery remaining. No worries, you should be fine. With the new iPhone 12 mini, you can be rest assured you're gonna have prolonged battery life <laughs> over the competition. Not even getting you in this. 
Okay, so we're still going. 55 minutes. Like I said, I'm going to go let it go like an hour and two minutes just because um, my stomach feels fine now. My mouth is fine, but my face still hurts, like all around my face. Mm. Yeah. Mine's like my stomach's still feeling something there. Lips are just feeling a little bit warm, not exactly like hot and whatnot, mm. but otherwise I'm good. Yeah. This is going to take a while to um, edit properly because, you know, I'm going to be speeding up and slowing down certain parts. Or there's, you know what, eh, screw it, I'll just put the whole thing up there and uh, just look at the whole damn thing. Um, but for YouTube? Yeah, for YouTube. What about for what's that then? Um, I'm not sure how that's going to work because I'm going to have to export it in some codec that's not super, super lossy. <clears throat> It'd be nice if it was still in 1080p, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's the other thing. When I was in Hawaii, I was experimenting around with the slow motion mode. Did I show you those videos? Like the water slide and stuff? I was just experimenting around because I've never had... I've, I've, the, the most advanced iPhone I had was like the iPhone, iPhone SE that came out in um, April of 2020. I had that for a few months. And then when I found out about how cool the iPhone 12 was going to be, I, like I pre-ordered it like a few days after it became available for pre-order or whatever. Um, and I got it like three days later. I'm like, holy crap, this is cool. I remember it was November 22nd when I, or November 22nd is when I got it, of 2020, the, um, the iPhone 12 mini. I was just blown away because I love how small it is. Because look how small it is compared to yours. It's just, yeah, it's already yeah. small. And the it's thing small. is, like, every time I walk, um, I can feel it in my pocket. It's jabbing me in the leg, jabbing me in the ass or whatever. It's like, ah, I need something small. And it's also because of my active lifestyle with, uh, um, oh, and it's got the little green indicator when you're using the camera. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, kind of like that, the the 15-inch um, MacBook Pro over there. Normally, like, mine shows up on the screen because, like, it's a software thing. Yours is right. a hardware thing. Yeah, hardware and software. But this is a really, really well-designed piece of equipment. I've got to say it's really go. nice. Nice. Didn't seem to take as long to boot up this time. We're just going to have to, like, nuke and repaper. Actually, take that other hard drive, just re reformat it, erase it, and then install Mojave on there because I know Mojave is going to be most compatible with everything that's when I'm running on my work supplied laptop and it works just fine um will Quake 3 continue to work though that's the question it should because that's the only thing I have on here that isn't updated like the other stuff you're, you're if you run through one of those other third party apps well see I would run it on my my late 2012 Mac Pro um, but there's some stuff that's just going to stop working properly when I do. The thing is, I'm just run I'm going to hold on hot, high sear for as long as possible. <clears throat> just because I'm afraid of stuff getting, like, cut off and whatever. Um, compatibility. What I really wish, I really wish this made 10.6.8 better. Because that, be that was the king of all Mac OS operating systems. The overhead is so small, it only occupied, like, a gigabyte. Right? Yeah, this one, when everything's finally loaded up, everything ready to go... Of course, I've also got Adobe Creative Cloud, which is a serious resource hog. It's like consuming six gigabytes. And I've got 16 gigs of RAM in that thing, right? And my work laptop's always consuming 10 gigabytes, and that's running, that's running Mojave. That's right. RAM, right? Yeah, yeah, RAM. Um, yeah, it's got a one. That is, got to be the fastest booting machine though. But this one, you see, dude, you should see how quickly this thing boots up to a boot screen. Because it's got a one terabyte SSD in it. Seconds? It's actually, yeah, like seconds, dude. It doesn't even take wow. a minute to boot up. It's that good, seriously. I'll have to show you like a cold boot on it sometime. Um, yeah, SSDs are the way to go, for sure. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, so 59 minutes and like six seconds now. So we'll go to the 102 mark, I think is probably good. That should be plenty of time. Yeah. That, should, that should get me qualifying for the... Um, full-on champion thing you know um the heavyweight one hour plus okay we'll go okay we'll go 105 then so it's one hour plus one plus hour Long but i'm really i'm really getting tired now man I, just, I could just go to sleep right now and i'm like drinking water and i'm feeling fine it's my face iPhone is more storage full oh no damn the boy's iphone's for so let's, let's get this on film here hold on so we know for sure that he's not kidding yeah that's a bummer that's a bummer right there uh. <clears throat> this is like, um, mom and I is, uh, what is it? 
Well, maybe a good idea to, to um, offload it to use um, iMovie or just offload it to your iPhotos um, on your computer over there. Mm -hmm. um, transfer it over. Well, you got just about an hour because it just mine just clicked over an hour and fifteen seconds now. So I think you're good. Yeah. Not Pictures of your girlfriend. There you go. The reasons I want to leave them, the thing is I already filtered these to the ones that I don't want deleted. What, those pictures from school or something? No, this is parkour. Remember? Oh, wow, you guys have pictures from that. That was 2016? Uh, In 2016, you guys are taking parkour? 2016, yeah, 2016. Yeah. Remember that one kid who was like nine, he was all ripped and buff? Like, what the <laughs> hell? That was weird, man. The hell's that? Paperclip floating on a paperclip. That was oh. 2018. That's my friend Jake holding it. Interesting. I remember this. That was at my old apartment in Santa Clara, mm -hmm. May 8th, 2018. What were we eating that day? Did you take pictures of the food? Donuts. Oh, we're having <laughs> donuts. From Stan's. Oh, it's probably the Safeway donuts. It's your crap. But whatever. We got Austin. Oh, Circuit of America is back in October. Is it November 2018? Formula One race. Do we have aerodynamics of a cow? Uh, yeah. Interesting. They aren't that aerodynamic, by the way. Do we have Halloween 8th grade? That's my friend Christian. Then we have Koala. No, Sea Rinse, actually. Right. <laughs> I was wearing that shirt a couple <laughs> That's weird. You turned into panorama or what? Yeah, it was panorama mode. Did a bunch of those pictures. Of Actually, you guys took a bunch of weird ones, if I remember correctly. You didn't keep all of them, though. Yeah. That's supposed to be Thanos with an ad. Interesting. <laughs> the school bathroom. Seriously, someone, like, destroyed the toilet? Bathroom. Yeah. Oh, I actually have two pictures. What's wrong with people? I don't have to vandalize stuff. It's like, come on, man. Like, for example... Your um, parents are taxpayers and they're paying for that crap to get replaced. Don't vandalize that crap. Come on. I think that was at school because... Castellero, right. I went no, to the bathroom No, you need to be Castillero. Come on, dude. You're taking Spanish. You should know that. You live in California. You should know that. So, like, I was in the bathroom and then I just walk into one of the stalls and I just see a turd on the floor. It actually, like, why do people do stuff like that? From, well, uh, the entrance of the bathroom. Why do people have to do crap like that? I don't get it. There's another one. There's another picture I took of shit on the floor. It was like, um, what was it? Greystone Park. It was just like oh, someone man. had a bad day. They were having diarrhea. It was like all over the floor. Oh, man. That's too bad. Yeah. Okay, we're at the 103.27 mark now. Like I said, I'm going to let it go to 105 just to make sure I get all, all the extra credit deserved for putting myself in this torture. Yes. I could do another one of those right now, though. One of those chips? I could, like I could do down. another one, like, right now and, like, wait another hour, but... Problem is, you don't have it. I, I know. Have and it's, like, it's it's nearing 11 o'clock, and I'm really sleepy because I've been up at 645, since 6.45, and I, I need my beauty rest, you know? Beauty rest. Oh yeah, it is almost alone. Yep. Or twenty three o'clock. Right, twenty three hundred hours. Right. Do you have everything ready for school tomorrow? Everything all cool? Well, I got my English homework in and I got my Spanish homework in. So. Okay. Muy excelente, mi amigo. Wouldn't hurt to do them check though. I'll do that. Always good to check more than once. You know. I got extra time. <sighs> Come on. We got 30 seconds left right now. Might as well text them the file. Oh, yeah, then we got this really fat pigeon statue. That's a weird ass statue. <laughs> yeah. Where's that? No idea. My friend just sent it to me. Okay, counting the seconds. <clears throat> well, ladies and gentlemen.
It's been a fun voyage tonight doing the Paki 2020 One Chip Challenge. Um, my face is still feeling hot in places, but my mouth is totally numbed, um, mellowed out. My stomach doesn't have any weird pain or anything like that, so made it this far. Um, thank you for watching. Like I say, it's 105.16 on my iPhone here um, <clears throat> that I've uh, been filming this whole endeavor. And now I'm going to have my amazing... McKellar Windy Hill, which is amazing New England style hazy IPA. It's delicious. Look for it in stores. Uh, all right. The video is too long to send to your damn. Um, that's why I'm saying, <clears throat> add it from, do it from, iPhotos, do it from photos on your uh, on your Mac, dude. What do you mean do it from photos on Mac? It it syncs. You have it synced up. You have a, you have a, um, um, an iCloud, right? Yeah. You synced it up over there. It syncs. It should sync up automatically. Well, I mean, to send photos. it to my friends. Oh, to send to your friends. Yeah, that's. It's, you're not gonna be able to send it to your friends, dude. You're gonna have to create a YouTube video to do it with. <clears throat> There's no way you're gonna be able to send them like an hour long video. I like an unlisted video. Okay, this is the 21st century, right? Here in a first world country, you know, United States, and we don't have the proper bandwidth that we were promised like 20 years ago, right? But finally, Apple came out with a Dick Tracy wristwatch, though. Man, it took them a while to do that. The, the, the Apple Watch, which came out in 2015, I think. Whatever. I should know this stuff. Anyways, <clears throat> good night, ladies and gentlemen. It's been fun. See ya.